Hey, if art is a crime, then just... Oh, damn it. Okay, think, Delson, think. Ah, party at the Longhouse. Just gotta get there, mingle, establish an alibi. I'm a goddamn criminal mastermind. out there it's just me Betty Delson. would you put the stapler down seriously what are you doing here why aren't you at the big to do at the longhouse oh uh, uh yeah I just didn't feel all that accomplished tonight but you look amazing it looks great on you seriously what were you doing up on the roof hmm nothing just were you up to mischief Come on, I know you're in there, so just come on out, or I'll call Betty and she'll be here in five minutes with the key. <laughs> you're up to mischief. Okay, well, come on, seriously, what are you gonna do here? Uh, well, I have no choice. He's a cop. I have to be back here in five minutes, and if you are still here... <laughs> Thanks, Betty. This is the last, last time. time. Now I have to go back to my office. Apparently, I'm getting a phone call. I believe he doesn't have anything better to do. Hello, freedom. And now the easy part. Get to the longhouse, set up an alibi. Wait! Ah, gold crap. Shoot! Shoot, get out of here! That was close. Don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. And the plan is working perfectly. Hey, man. I've been looking, like, forever for you. We should probably just get inside. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it is for me to keep arresting my own brother over and over and over again? Maybe you should stop arresting your brother over and over and you over again. You think this again. is a joke? No, I is don't. Is this how you want to leave your mark on the world, huh? You think this would make our parents proud? Misdemeanor vandalism? Listen, man, there's a lot of scary shit in the world. And while I'm out there actually trying to assert my talent... You're trying to assert your talent? I mean, what the hell are you even talking about? Why don't you just do this, Reg? Why don't you just let me be who I am? Tell me what big, bad, if scary you would listen, shit you're going to share us from. I would explain it to you. Really? Because I don't seem to Reggie. get it. What? Truck. I'm going after those two. 
You stay back. That thing's gonna blow. Stay away from the exploding thing. Got it. How's the military doing here? Thanks, man. I thought I was gonna die. Hey, you all right? Oh, God. Oh. Hey, oh, God. let him go. Shh. Just let him go and keep your hands where I can see him. I don't want to hurt nobody. I just want to get going before she gets here. I said let him go, or I will shoot you. Fresh. Oh, I said I don't want to hurt nobody. Reg? I gotta find Reggie. The hell was that? I... What the hell? What's happening to me? God, no! Stop it, stop it, stop it! What the hell is going on? Oh my god. Oh my god. Make it stop! Reg! Reg, I really need you! What is going on? Reggie! Thing off you. So you just. I gotta get you out! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, just. Just help me push! Oh, dear God. No, no, no! Oh, shit! I can't stop it, man. I can't stop it. Reggie, I can't okay. stop it's it, okay. man. It's okay. So you're okay. Just breathe. Breathe. You're right. You're right. I'm one of them, man. I'm no, one of them. No. 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 You are my brother. All right? You are my brother. Okay. This thing with you is gonna pass. I promise. We'll fix it. All right? You with me? You with me? Okay. Okay. Get out there. There is a bio so We gotta stop him before he gets to the rest of the tribe. All right? Okay. I need you. I need you right now. Okay. All right? Come on. Yeah. You good? Yeah. Let's go. Just promise me you won't use any of those tricks, okay? I wouldn't have been able to even get to you back there if I hadn't. Just promise me you won't do that. Hey. Hey. Just, I don't want you to think what's happened is, is a good thing, okay? But it's not. Sheriff, we can't get in! The button's jammed! I think Betty's still inside. Jeez, man, the latch is melted. Locked. How the hell did he get through? I think he ran through. You can do that? There's only one way to find out. Nelson's a bioterrorist, too. Wait, he's not... Vince. Good to know. Wow, that should have hurt. Betty! Ugh. Yeah, this will work. Don't want to spoil the surprise. Almost there, Betty! 
You gotta get out of here, lady. Stay away from I'm me. I'm trying to help no, you, lady. Stay away from me. Stop. Ah. Delson. I was just trying to create a diversion. I didn't know anybody was in you here. You did this to me. You're a conduit. Uh. Betty, I'll explain later, but you gotta get out of here now. Good, I'm gone. Not until you fix this first. I spend most of my life behind bars. It's easy enough to bust out. You just gotta wait for that golden opportunity. When I got my powers, hell, I was unstoppable. Until the DUP caught up with me. Yeah, they got a special hole they like to toss folks like me in. Figured out a way to bind us all up so we couldn't use our powers. That also meant they had to feed us, wash us, even wipe our goddamn asses. That's no way for a man to live. There's no way. They had this red-headed bitch there, really into needles and scalpels. She called what she did to me tests. But if you do enough time, you learn a few tricks. You just gotta be patient. Sooner or later, they'll screw up. They always do. You maybe see something or you hear something, learn things you weren't supposed to know. So when that bitch put the three of us in that wagon, I knew what was coming. A golden opportunity. I saw you. Poking around inside my head. It was me, I thought that was you. You saw it, right? That DUP prison. If she catches you, that's where you're going. Wait, wait, wait! I'm warning you, kid. Back off! We're not going anywhere until you fix this! Listen, I don't know what happened, but you better be ready to disappear! Why? You're a conduit now, kid! A bioterrorist! Welcome to the world of Run For Your Life! And that's what I aim to do, even if I gotta go through you! Not going anywhere until you fix this! This ain't something that can be fixed! Then... At least show me how to control it! Ain't got time! Day you face coming! And she knows I'm onto her plan! This fire's only gonna buy two, three minutes diversion tops. I gotta get now. Ain't going back to Curtin K. Yeah, well, whoever's coming is coming for you, man, not me. You've been seen, son. Folks here know about you. And she's got a way of making people talk. Good luck, kid. Oh, hell no. No way I'm gonna die in a fish guttery. Just let me go. Just let me walk away. Nobody's ever gotta know about any of this. Wait a minute. Stop it. Talk about this. Oh, Henry. I am so very disappointed in you. Well, we got him, right? I, uh, flushed that... Mean old conduit for you. Good job, everybody. Especially you, guys. Bioterrorist. Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. Conduit. He's a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor. Are you? I, uh... I, I try not to be. <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm not nervous. <laughs> It's been my experience, there are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards, or they have something to hide. Well, you know, I also get nervous around pretty girls. You were in there with that bioterrorist for some time. 
Did he share anything with you? Um, share... Did he say anything to you? Share any of his ramblings about conspiracies? Um, um, no, he didn't, he didn't share anything. <laughs> good. That's good to hear. You see, we are engaged in a life and death war with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do whatever it takes to ensure that we win that war. What? Well, that's kind of funny because <laughs> aren't you a bioterrorist too? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And it's clear now that you're not a coward, which means there's something that you're not telling me. Oh, what, are you, what are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy! I've got rights! And I have the legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary. Like now, for instance, I'll ask again. What happened in there? And I will tell you again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm told that hurts. Maybe I know what happened no, in there! No! Betty, don't! So. Really? Still nothing. Well, unless you decide that you do have something to tell me, I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the next, until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? What? I said, I'm a conduit, all right? I caught it a second ago from, from that guy. Oh, you caught it. Very funny. Ah! God! Tells him. Ah! So, Betty, maybe you can give me a straight answer. Yeah, I'm told that hurts. Wake up! Wake up. into a hospital. Miss Augustine, we thank you for your time. That of course broke our Department of Unified Protection. As the DOP lockdown of Seattle enters its second week now, there is still no sign of any progress. We will of course continue to follow the story and we'll have the very latest for you coming up. For now, I'm Charles Sandall, US TV News. Nick, man, what the hell happened? Oh my god. How could 
did anyone do this? How many people did she hurt? And no one could stop her? Oh my god. Betty. Delson, dear. You're awake. So did Augustine do this to you? Yeah, don't you think I was gonna rat you out to that ornery trot? Besides, at the time, it seemed like all the cool kids were getting their legs pierced. So that means everyone here... We're a comish. We protect our own. No one here blames you for what happened. Yeah. Neither should you. Can't be ashamed for what you are. Can't help it. You were born that way. All that matters is... I'm one of them now. You are not one of those beady-eyed bioterrorists who go around killing people higgly-piggly. You're a good boy. Just happen to have smoke coming out of your fingers. The reason why we're in this is smoke coming out of my fingers. Hey, don't go down that road. If you're gonna be such a buzzkill, I'm gonna have to go back to sleep because I need my rest so that I can get better and get on my feet again. And I can rest now because you're awake. You know what you worry? I'm gonna be fine. Really? Mm-hmm. Just see. Delson! Whoa. <laughs> Damn it, I thought we were gonna lose you there. A little concrete in the legs? It's a good thing more than that. Oh. Glad to see fast healing seems to be a part of your new, uh, thing. Uh, speaking of which, uh, the craziness with the hands, is that gone? Yeah, I don't know, man. There's no smoking in the long house, remember? <laughs> right. And I wouldn't want to get in the way of anyone's recovery. Recovery? Delson, these, these people aren't getting any better. They're dying, man. You don't know that. No, but the doctors who came through here when you were out, they do. And they said that... They said the only way those shards are coming out is the exact same way they went in. What? Yeah. But that, that was Augustine and her concrete power. And screw it, man. Looks like you and me are going to Seattle and we're gonna go get her. Whoa, 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 wait, what? You think you're just gonna charm her into coming back here with you? Come on, man, I know you took a bump to the head, but you two didn't exactly hit it off last time you were together. Reggie, I did this. And I gotta fix it. No, damn it, Delson, you just got back on your feet. I know you want to help, but the doctors have already said the only, the only way it's getting out is with the same power. I get it. Which means we don't actually need Augustine. We just need her power. <laughs> okay, now you've lost me. I'm a goddamn power sponge, remember? If I got smoke, why can't I get concrete? <laughs> yeah, but what, what if smoke was just a fluke, huh? I mean, think about it. You'd have to go through, a, what, a thousand DUP guys just to get to her? Yeah, probably something like that. I'll explain in the truck. What truck? I don't have a truck. I... That's my truck. All right, I got this whole thing figured out, okay? We, we hit the town, 
we load up at the All You Can Leech Conduit Power Buffet. We maybe swing by the Space Needle, always wanted to see it, and then we're back home to save some lives. You do realize when we hit the town, there's a fair chance the town's gonna, you know, hit back? What does that even mean? It means that Seattle has half a million people that aren't exactly thrilled about the bioterrorists that are already there. You think they're gonna welcome you? No, but I'm gonna be different, okay? Oh, I'm okay. not there doing what they do. I'm there to save lives. I'm gonna be like Superman. I'll be yeah. healing the sick. The hero, you know. what, you think they're gonna throw you a parade? Wake up, man. Look, don't worry, Dale, all right? We're gonna fix this thing. I'm gonna find you a cure. A cure? Shooting smoke out of your fingertips isn't exactly normal, man. Just because it's not normal doesn't mean that it needs a cure, okay? Van Gogh wasn't normal. Gandhi wasn't normal. Yeah, but people weren't scared of Gandhi, all right? People are afraid of bioterrorists. They're freaks. See, that's pre-programmed bull... Whoa, whoa. Shit. Great. Huh. Well... Looks like we're walking the rest of the way. <laughs> Walk? What? Yeah. Where are you going? Hey! Damn it. Holy crap, would you look at this? I, look, you know, if you're having second thoughts, I completely... Are you kidding me? This is amazing! <laughs> this is destruction. This is self-defense. Fence, man, the roadblock was set up to attack them. Yeah, because they're bioterrorists. Well, it didn't stop them, and it's not gonna stop this bad boy either. <laughs>